needle drops. Anthony Fantano here, music nerd. Going to do an album review, like the New Waves album, King of the Beach. <clears throat> so this band is fronted by this singer, song writer, Nathan Williams, plays guitar. And uh, in 2008, he came out with this album titled Waves, and it was like almost self-titled, but it had three V's in it instead of just, you know, the normal amount of V's that are in the word Waves. Since then, he's been like touring to the brink of insanity and uh, released a couple songs with Zach Hill of Hella. And he most recently has uh, picked up Jay Retard's old band to uh, back things up on drums and bass. This is Wave's third album and it's like a change. It's like a big change. It's something that maybe is gonna tick off all the lo-fi fanatics. But who cares? You know what? That's the attitude you gotta have with this LP. Which I don't even care. I don't care. Uh, we're gonna review this album instead now. Uh, this is the album Brotherhood from New Order. Uh, really, like, pretty good. You know, like, it's got a couple good songs. Um, it's got this song on here, Bizarre Love Triangle. So this ain't like a thinking man's record. No. Not that you don't need a brain to enjoy it. Not that you need to be brainless to enjoy it. It's a good way just to turn the old noggin off for like 30 minutes and just rock. So long story short, if you're not turning this up and thrashing about, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> and speaking of doing it wrong, did you know this album has not four, but five competing entries inside the mod box? Before you go putting something inside the mod box, could you at least check and see if it's already been suggested before you go putting it in there and then voting on it? Because if you don't, you Thanks. With a more pristine studio quality this time around, the hooks stand out so strong on this LP. It's partially the production. I think overall the songwriting is a little bit better, too. The chorus from the track Take On The World sounds like a post-punked Beach Boys melody. The opening King of the Beach is the perfect start to this album. Just trebled, hot, distorted, burning chords, heavy drums. Fantastic. And there's some soft, sentimental songs on this thing too, like When Will You Come and Baseball Cards. A couple tracks with some very subdued rhythms and even some synthesizers show up in the mix. There are some real dynamics among these tracks. I may not love every single song, but still, overall this thing is a lot more varied and engaging than Wave's last release. And I think part of what makes this record such a fun experience is that Nathan really lets his influences pour through on this LP. I'm not surprised that he's working with Jay Retard's old band because they're really pulling from a similar punk aesthetic. And I'm feeling a huge skate punk and pop punk influence on this thing. Really from the old school, kind of like Screeching Weasel, the Queers, the Mr. T experience. I just can't get away from that vibe. And though this is one of the most visceral records I've heard all year and contains lyrics about being an idiot, people hating your guts, and not giving a shit, this is the most mature Waves has ever sounded. I think my one major gripe is that it really falls apart on several tracks for me. For example, on Mickey Mouse, Baseball Cards, those tracks are very subdued, have a drum machine, and I just do not like this music backed up with a drum machine. It just knocks the wind out of this record, loses the momentum on it, and just pulls the guts out of it. And the song Convertible Balloon? God, that thing just feels like swallowing a giant ball of corn and almost choking to death on it. Should you be taking this really seriously? There's a cat smoking a J on the cover. No, you shouldn't be taking it too seriously. You should be putting this on, enjoying the vibes, enjoying how loud it is, how ballsy it is, and just sort of, mm, don't think, just rock. I'm feeling a chill eight on this waves. Chill waves. What do you guys think about this thing? Hmm? Do you love it? Do you hate it? 
and why. Anthony Fantano waves forever.